So, liquid gold. Liquid gold is basically clarified butter. It has a higher smoke point than regular butter with a much better flavor when it's converted into liquid gold. I almost always use clarified butter when cooking or toasting any sort of bread just because it has a better flavor. But enough talking, let's go ahead and get started. You're gonna start off by getting some heavy cream. You actually don't need exact measurements for this, but if you do want measurements, go in there with like a quart or 32 ounces because it's just butter, you know what I'm saying? And just pour that into a mixing bowl. Pour the whole thing in there. Now you're gonna attach your bowl into your stand mixer. If you don't have a stand mixer, you can use an egg beater or a normal beater. If you don't have either of those, you could go in there with a whisk, but it will take longer. And now you're going to put on the whisk attachment. So go ahead and put that on. And now you're gonna turn this on to medium speed. You're gonna whip this up until it starts forming like a frosting. You're gonna start seeing thickening up just like that. So just go ahead and keep going. Just keep in mind this will take a couple of minutes, so just be patient. So now after a couple of minutes, you'll notice that your heavy cream has now turned into a frosting. What you're going to do now is you're gonna keep whipping this and then slowly you'll start seeing the butter separate from the milk. As you can tell, it is now starting to change its texture. It is now starting to form its little curds, so go ahead and keep going. So now I paused it a bit, but as you can tell, you can see right here that the butter is now starting to separate from the milk. So go ahead and keep going. As you can tell here, our butter has completely separated from the actual milk, but we're not done yet. We're gonna keep going. We're actually gonna throw this into a bowl with some cold water and we're going to wash it until all the water has came out clear. I'm going to rinse off this murky water right here and I'm actually gonna throw this into a separate bowl with cold water. Now that I filtered out just the butter, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go ahead and place that in a bowl right here and now go ahead and throw in there some cold water. And what I did to get my water cold, I basically just put some ice in it and I let it melt. And now with a wooden spoon, I'm just gonna go in there and press it into the water. That way it gets cleaned, right? Just like that. And you notice how when I immediately put in the water, it already turned white is because there's still milk in there that needs to be cleaned out. So go ahead and just do that. Now we're going to rinse this water and put some more in there. You go in there with your cold water. And notice how the water is a lot clearer than it was the first time. That means we're cleaning it good. So go ahead and just keep cleaning that up. And now as you're pressing it and you see no more white impurities come in there, that means it is now done. So now that your water is clear completely, we're gonna rinse this off and we're gonna start forming it into our rectangle. Now go ahead and grab some parchment paper and put your butter on it. And now with two wooden spoons, go ahead and try to replicate that triangle that we all know. And there you have it, you guys, homemade butter. I'd cut mine up into the rectangle that it usually comes in. You don't have to if you don't want to, but there it is, homemade butter. But we are not done here. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna take it up a notch. We're gonna grab some of this butter and we're gonna melt it on low heat and we're gonna skim off the fat to turn that into clarified butter which has a way better flavor. So now turn that on to low heat and just throw in there your butter. Once your butter has melted, you're gonna see the milk solids just come up to the top like that. What you're gonna do now is kill the heat and with your spoon, you're gonna go in there and literally skim off all that white part just like that. So skim it all the way off. After you're done skimming all the milk impurities from the top, it should look just like that. And now grab some sort of strainer or a cheesecloth and put it on top of your bowl. And now go ahead and just pour in your butter right through it. Just like that. Now this, you're gonna throw. You don't wanna pour that in there. This is not trash. And there you have it, you guys. You have now made liquid gold, which is also known as clarified butter. You have now changed the smoke point from 350 degrees to 450 degrees. This thing tastes amazing. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next time.